When persecuted Iranian Christians are forced to flee their country for their lives, they face countless challenges as they seek to start a new life in another country. As refugees, one of the biggest obstacles is being treated like second-class citizens and feelings of isolation. However, Christian Ministry Help the Persecuted recently hosted a conference at an undisclosed location for Iranian believers where they were able to worship together as well as be equipped and encouraged to live out their faith. During the conference, I spoke to Help the Persecuted CEO, Joshua Youssef. Just set the scene what's happening right now, yeah. what, it, what it means to you. Well, we, we host these conferences in the region to help people who uh, have left and fled Iran, uh, severe persecution in Iran. And these conferences are wonderful because they encourage the believers, they encourage the local church in the region that we're in right now uh, to, to remain steadfast, to remain uh, uh, strong in their faith. And, and what's amazing is some of these people, uh, many of these people have spent time in jail in Iran. They've spent, t they've been uh, persecuted severely. Help the Persecuted's field ministry team leader, Qasem, who served three years in prison in Iran for his faith, said it was a very emotional time for many of those who came, who had previously felt that they were alone. We try to uh, f learn from each other, mm. testimonies, talking to each other, to open our hearts, to have a friendship, you know. Many of them, they crying because it was the, f uh, for, for some of them, it was the first time they really feel uh, they are someone and the other, the other people they're caring about. Youssef said, as well as gathering persecuted Christians like this, they also come alongside them to rescue, restore, and rebuild their lives. We provide what we call emergency relief kits. Many of these people are living in severe poverty, uh, either joblessness or, or what we might call under underemployment. Uh, these, these emergency relief kits have rice and oil and food for them to be sustained. Uh, we also provide uh, job opportunities for them so that, that they are self-supporting and that they can go and employ other converts. And Help the Persecuted is planning to expand their work throughout the Middle East, North Africa and Asia this year, making it possible for tens of thousands of persecuted believers to rebuild their lives in some of the most dangerous places in the world to be a Christian. Peter Wooding reporting for the Global News Alliance.